Yo, what's up? Name is Jet Leo One, and welcome back to more Custom Robo. As we're on the last round of the Police Practice Squad mini tournament thingy again, so let's talk to the Chief and try to not admire his clothes this time as we take on Mira for the final battle. Are you ready? Shall we start? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. It's go time. Party time. Shoot people in the face. Victory. Proceed the story. Stuff like that. Good. Mira, let's start the battle. I really think that my brother wouldn't have come this far without your help. Thanks for being there with him. But let me warn you, this match is for real. Let's do this. Listen, Jet, I, play, I paid close attention when I fought her, and I think I've got some advice. More, really? You know what? No more complaining. I'm done. No more whining. That's just stupid. Be careful around the four corners of the Holosseum. If she fires pods from both sides and have a bomb from above, you'll have nowhere to run. Make sure you keep moving and stay away from the corners. Got it? Can you say it once more? No. See, even the character's like, no more complaining. Just tell me. So I'm not even going to bother with those. Good, good. My sister's strong, but I'm sure you can handle it. Let us fight. We shall see who is the stronger warrior. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. Wait a second. I think she might be using the taser gun or something. Which, while that... Like, I don't personally use that gun. That's a really good close-range weapon because... It has, like, a low knockdown. But... It makes up for that low knockdown by hitting multiple times. Like, it requires multiple times to knock them down. But it, fi like, fires instantaneously. And at close range, so... You can sit there and use it to good effect because it will deal lots of damage before they manage to go down and while that may not be good it still deals lots of damage and it deals it fast enough where if you get the first hit in it's not going to be escaped from I think, oh did I just like safely land I kind of safety ah I kind of just safely landed on the corner of the arena I believe yeah she's using the stun gun I believe or something to that effect because that projectile looked like it, but I think it's like a longer variant of it or something. Ow, what was that? It's like, out of nowhere, something hit me. Or I say out of... Ow, what the... Taking lots of damage. There. Flame gun for the win. Can I have my shotgun now? No? Okay. I'll live with it. Javelin shuffle. Haven't seen that in a while. We've been getting back-to-back -back salute to the victors. Float pod F. I don't really like those. I've pretty much got my entire setup now except for the shotgun, so we're good for a while. You three really are something. Like I said at dinner, you're a good team. The ultimate team, even. Well, I was planning on ending this with Mira. However, you look like you could handle one final battle with me. Chief, you're going to fight? Yes, I think I understand Linda's reasoning now. I want to see this boy's skill firsthand. Okay, so I have to go through eight battles where Harry and Mira only had to go through six each. That's, that's wrong. Incredible. This is unheard of. The Chiefs' battles are the stuff of legends here in the squad. That's not true. I'm just an old man who's been retired from active duty for years. I'm sorry, Jet. Just one more match. Come to me when you're ready. There's nothing else to do, so bring it on, old man. But let's see what Harry has to say. Harry and Marcia. Why do you deserve the special treatment? First Linda, now the Chief of Police? Incredulous reaction. That's great, Jet. The chief is really interested in you. And happy reaction. Stop being incredulous. Be nice like Mira. Mira. Marcia. Stop having such close names. Are we ready? Shall we start? Yes. Just you and me fight, old Stark guy from Arena. I'm pretty sure this guy becomes Stark in Arena. Or that they copied Stark from this guy. Because... Stark is pretty much the old man from Bleach, but he's A, the chief of police, and B, looks just like this guy. So think on that for a second. Anyways, I appreciate you listening to a selfish old man's request. It's been a long time since I've gotten excited from watching a fight. Shall we start? I'm not sure it'll help at this point, but here's a little advice. If your opponent has a gun with a slow rate of fire, it's best to rush in directly and go for a system overload. For example, if your opponent has a Hornet or Rayfall gun, that's a good time for an overload. Got it? Sorry, I'm brain dead. Okay, never mind, the character still got it. <laughs> Don't know how strong the chief is, but good luck. Battle of Between the Masters. I like his battle pose. He's like, ki -ha. 
I shall smite you with my smiting powers, and okay. He's got like a metal grappler. This is going to be a little bit difficult. Kind of want to check the enemy data, but I don't feel like it. So his only has one lava corner, apparently. And I'm about to reset, so I'm going to be unhappy. Unhappy player. Spam that B button. Yeah, faster countdown. What? Oh, yeah, metal grappler. This is not my kind of battle. Stop that. Okay, he kind of went and screwed himself over with that tackle there. Okay, just got to dash twice and get around all of his attacks. And then back out. Alright, he's down, but his bombs have like a really high explosive rating. Come on, no! Okay, my pod went in. Good job, pod. I got downed and my pod came in to finish the job. Good work. And my robo seems a little drunk. He looks tilted. Probably because I had to get up to do that salute. Anyway, sword storm gun and the standard pod F. Alright. We got two items for the price of one, but it's still not the shotgun. Uh, that's the one thing I'm not going to say that I st I'm going to stop whining about, because I want the shotgun. That's part of my integral, like, that's part of my entire style from this game and Arena. I went through both of them, shotgun. Or I went through Arena with pr the Magnum, but then I learned about the shotgun, and then I switched it since they were close enough, but shotgun was superior. Anyways, I concede. Roy, Mira, what do you think of these three? I'd hate to say it, but they have magnificent skills. Definitely close to class S. And Linda, what is your opinion of their mental abilities? I think these three are the most re stable and reliable, not to mention trustworthy, of bounty hunters. I see. Well, shall we make them take the license test? TEST! What do you mean, test? I don't want to have to study. Harry, it's just a skill test. Excuse me, but license test costs money and... You don't have to worry about the expenses for a Class S test. It's free. Class S? I thought licenses only went as high as Class A. Normally, that's true. Class A is the highest rank a civilian can hold, but the Class S test is different. In order to qualify for this test, you must be recommended by a Class S commander. This is all so sudden, you know? I'm not sure I'm following all this. It's confusing! What are you talking about, Harry? It makes sense. There's a level above Master. There's Super Master. There's Super Saiyan! You gotta go Super Saiyan! I don't know. I must apologize. Yesterday's tournament and today's matches were simply to test your skills. And you now have the recommendations of no fewer than four Class S commanders. Huh? Naturally, I am Class S. I've earned my Class S license, too. Okay, so he is Mustang. I forgive you for doubting your abilities. Me too. What? I thought you were Class A! Well, I can't exactly tell you that I carry a license whose very existence is classified, can I? I'm Class S, too, incidentally. What? <laughs> Linda, you're Class S, but you're a scientist, not a commander. Now I'm totally confused. <laughs> we'll discuss this more later. Right now, you need to take this test. If, you d if you'll all just follow me, I'll direct you to the examination hall. Y yes, sir. I get the feeling we don't have any choice. Oh, well, as long as it's not a written test. <laughs> follow me. Everybody Earthbound Party Train! I make I always call that the Earthbound Party Train, but I have never played Earthbound. I played Mother 3, but I only played it into it like a half an hour. I don't know why. I just, like, I, I don't know. It's like I have this weirdness where if I don't pay for a game, which you really can't with Mother 3, if I don't pay for a game, I'm, I like drop it really fast. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. I need to work on that, because there's a lot of good free games. But anyways... This is the examination hall. We need to upgrade you to Class S as quickly as possible. I want each of you to go through a door. You'll find a test machine inside. All you need to do is simply defeat the test robo. That's it. Understood? Yes, I understand. With my skills, I'm sure I'll do fine, but... Uh, I'm still not going to join the police squad! Rebellion! Well, Jet, you might as well take your test right now. I don't trust this. Why do I get the feeling that the test robo is going to be as hard as, like, Rahu... Parts generator, let's grab our prize. A sword storm gun, which looks cool, but it's still not something I like. Straight bomb G. I'll stick with the normal straight bomb. I've got dual bomb C, submarine bomb K, float pod F. 
wave pod. Yeah, I never bother to get all the parts during a tournament. I wait until at the end of the tournament, standard pod F. I wait till the end of the tournament, so then it's like, part, 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 part. But this looks like a fancy computer. Know what I'm saying? But we're going to have to see that next episode. So this has been Gently One. I'll see you next time as we become Class S Commandos.